Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a relational branch in Team Foundation Server 2013. Well, you can create multiple branches in Team Foundation Server, but uh, in order to create a relational branch, uh, which is that branch, uh, you create a new branch off of the previous branch that's already existed in Team Foundation Server. The reason that you need to do that if you will create a relational branches, uh, then you can merge uh, the code between those branches easily. And there, uh, there is a relationship existed between those branches. So that's what we're gonna learn in this video. So let's go in the client. I have a Visual Studio right here. I'm connected with my Team Foundation server. And here is my team project. And here is my uh, main branch. So we're gonna go ahead and create a branch off of main so we're gonna go ahead and click on main right click on main and go to branching and merging and click on branch so right here is our main branch this is our source and the destination is going to be whatever you wanted to name uh, what it means is it's branch from main branch so we're gonna go ahead and create a dev branch off of that so once you do that we're gonna go ahead and click branch and we're gonna go ahead and click yes and if you notice here that um, um, this is the main branch and this is our dev branch so if if you create any code right here um, and um, you go back you wanted to merge uh, the code from main branch to dev branch you can easily do that I mean uh, if you right click right here and go to advance and go to the properties and go to the relationships you will see that main dev branch is a child of main branch so uh, this is how you create relational relational uh, branches in team foundation server and i hope this video helps